Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Good morning. Awesome. Well, let's get your classmates in who are on Zoom. Hi, my name is Dan, and this is my hybrid class. I have kids in class and some who have chosen to be remote. I have my computer connected to my ViewSonic ViewBoard IFP, as it's touch and a great teaching tool, and all the kids in class can easily see it. All right, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the lesson today. To make sure that the kids at home can see the same things as the kids in class, I decide to share my screen with the remote students. So we're going to start off just a quick check in, see how everybody is feeling, and we're going to do that through the board portal. So remember the board portal is myviewboard.com slash VS Trainer. So everyone here, go ahead and open your computers and go to this website and everyone at home, you do it too as well. I also have a webcam connected to my computer because I think it's important that the kids at home can still see me teaching, just like the kids who are in class. All right, everyone here is good to go. Let's check our chat on Zoom and make sure everyone else is ready too. Oh, Sean says he's ready to go, Mandy says ready, and Renee says all good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open our first poll quiz for the day. My ViewBoard is my preferred software as it easily allows me to annotate and interact with my content. Here I'm using my ViewBoard's polling feature to check in on my remote and in-class students to see how they're feeling. Go ahead and answer this question and everyone here in class go ahead and answer this first question. How are you feeling today? All right, looks like we have all our responses. So let's go ahead and check and see how everybody's feeling today. Awesome, we have happy and calm. Great, let's move on. I think we're ready to do some learning today. Here we go. Today, boys and girls, we are going to be learning about how to graph using slope intercept form. So let me show you how to do this first. Remember, The formula is y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. That's where we graph first. All right, so we would find the one here on the y-intercept and we would mark it. So we'll put a little mark here. Next, we have to find the slope. So the slope is indicated by the m in the formula y equals mx plus b. My ViewBoard has a lot of great tools, no matter what content I teach. Here I'm using a ruler, coordinate graph, and I have a graphing website embedded on the left. Notice that I'm not juggling around switching tabs and programs. So now I'm gonna graph my line. Now I have Desmos over here so we can check our formula. I recommend that you use Desmos on your computers to check to see if you got it correct or not. Same at home, you all use Desmos to check your work. So let's check this really quickly by typing in our formula. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna complete one of the problems on your worksheet today together. So let me make a new page here and I'm gonna turn on my webcam. Sometimes I need to use physical materials that aren't digital with my students. For this, I love connecting my document camera to my computer via USB. This allows me to display the document right inside my viewboard. Since I'm sharing my screen, all the students who are remote can see it at home too. Y intercept is B, which is four. But does anyone notice anything interesting about this? Y intercept. Anyone in class or anyone who's virtual, you can unmute yourself. Yes. It's a negative. Did everyone at home hear that? It's a negative four. So instead of going positive on the Y axis, we actually go down to negative four. So go ahead and mark that on your worksheet. Nice. And then if you're at home, I want you to take a picture and send it to me with throw in the portal. It's easy for me to check the work of students in class, but for the kids at home, I'm using the throw tool in my view board. It allows students to easily take pictures of their work and send it to me for review. All right, let's bring in Sean's too. Okay, we're going on to the final piece here, friends. So this is your last question, just an exit ticket to make sure that you understand. Sometimes I need a more formal way to assess students' understanding. 
Using the My View Board portal, I can send quiz questions to my students at home and in class. Your last question of the day is in the equation y equals mx plus b, b is the y-intercept. You have one minute to answer on the portal on your device. All right, let's see how everyone did. Yay, correct, good job, everybody. So, remember, I'm gonna download the results so I can see everybody's individual answers so I can add it to your grades. I'm also gonna go ahead and stop the video here, and I'm gonna save this video, and I will be posting that uh, to our classroom later so that you can rewatch it if you have any questions. Oh, did I mention that I recorded the whole lesson? I love my Viewboard screen recorder. Bye everybody at home.